Okay. All right. I'm Brandon Walters. I'm an actor from New York, and I am very excited to be here. <laughs> I'm Paul Kuhn. I'm an actor from Philly and artistic director of Curio Theater. Very happy to be doing this. I'm Judy Gallagher. I'm going to be a senior in the fall at Temple University, um, theater major. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be here too. Great. And by the way, they're reading uh, an excerpt from Anna Christie. Hello, Matt. Are you here already? I was down. What's up? How'd that chair get knocked over? You ain't been fighting with him again, Matt. After you promised. I've not laid a hand on him, Anna. Let you not be worried at all. T'was only a bit of an argument he, we was having to pass the time till you'd come. It must have been some argument when you got to throwing chairs. Why didn't you say something? What was we it was about? Talk, we was talking about ships and fellers on the sea. Oh, the old stuff, eh? He's not after telling you the whole of it. We was arguing about you, mostly. About me? And we'll be finishing out right here and now in your presence, if you're willing. Sure. It's all about. No, you don't do that, you. You tell him you don't want for hear him talk, Anna. But I do. I want this cleared up. Well, not now anyway. You was going ashore, yes? You ain't got time. Yes, right here and now. You tell me, Matt, since he don't want to. The whole of it is in a few words only, so he'd make no mistake and him hating the sight of me. I told him in his teeth that I loved you. And that's the God's truth, Anna, and well you know it. Uh, he tells same thing to every girl port he go to. Shut up, can't you? True, Matt. I don't mind what he says. God bless you. And then what? And then, uh... And then I, I said I, I, I said I was sure, and I, um, I told him I thought you had a bit of love for me too. Say you do, Anna. Let you not destroy me entirely for the love of God. So you told him that, Matt. No wonder he was mad. <laughs> well, maybe it's true, Matt. I do. I've been thinking and thinking. I don't want to, Matt. I. I'll own up to that. I tried to cut it out, but I guess I can't help it anyhow. So I guess I do, Matt. Sure I do. What's the use of kidding myself different? Sure, I love you, Matt. Anna. God be praised. <laughs> and I had never loved a man in my life before. You can always believe that, no matter what happens. Sure, I do be believing every word you ever said or ever will say. And tis you and me will be having a grand, beautiful life together to the end of our days. Goodbye. Goodbye? Is it? <laughs> the devil you say? I'll be coming back at you in a second for more of the same. Now, me old bucko, what do you be saying? You heard the words from her own lips. Confess, I've bait you. Own up like a man when you're bait fair and square, and here's my hand to you and that you take it and will shake and forget what's over and done and be friends from this out. I don't shake hands with you, Fowler. Not <clears throat> while I live. Then the back of my hand to you then, if that suits you better. Tis a rotten bad loser you are, devil mend you. I don't lose. Anna say she like you little bit, but you don't hear her say she marry you, I bet. No, and I wasn't hearing her say the sun is shining either. That's all right. She don't say it. You're st saying. No, I didn't say it, Matt. There, you hear? Uh, you're waiting until you do be asked, you mean. Well, I'm asking you now, and we'll be married this day with the help of God. You heard what I said, you Matt? After I kissed you? No, I disremember. I said goodbye. That kiss was for goodbye, Matt. What do you mean? I can't marry you, Matt. And we've said goodbye, that's all. I know it. I know that was so. Anna, is it making game of me you'd be? 
just a queer joke to joke with me and don't be doing it for the love of God. Do you think I kid you now? No, I'm not joking, Matt. I mean what I said. You don't. You can't. Just mad you are, I'm telling you. No, I'm not. But what's come over you so sudden? You was saying you loved me. I'll say that as often as you want me to, it's true. Then why? What in devil's name? Oh, God help me, I can't make head or tail of it at all. Because it's the best way I can figure, Matt. I've been thinking it over and thinking it over all day and night and all week. Don't think it ain't hard on me too, Matt. For the love of God, tell me then. What is it that's preventing you from wedding me when the two of us is love? Is it giving heed to the like of that old fool you are and in hating me and filling your ears full of bloody lies against me? Yes, Anna. Believe me. Not you. She know her old father don't lie like you. You sit down, do you hear? Where do you come in butting in and making things worse? You're like a devil, you are. Good Lord, and I was beginning to like you. Beginning to forget all I've got held up against you. You ain't got nothing for hold against me, Anna. Ain't I just? Well, let me tell you. Say, Matt, I'm surprised at you. You didn't think anything he'd said. Sure, what else would it be? Think I'd ever pay attention to all his crazy bull? Gee, you must take me for a five-year-old kid. I don't know how to take you with their saying this one minute and not the next. Well, he has nothing to do with it. Then what is it has? Tell me and don't keep me waiting and sweating blood. I can't tell you and I won't. I got a good reason and that's all you need to know. I can't marry you, that's all there is to it. So for God's sake, let's talk of something else. I'll not. Is it married to someone else you are? In the West, maybe. I should say not. To the devil with all other reasons, then. They don't matter with me at all. I'm thinking you're the like of them women can't make up their mind till they're drove to it. Well, then I'll make up your mind for you bloody quick. We've had enough of talk. Let you be going into your room now and be dressing in your best, and we'll be going ashore. No, by God, she don't do that. Say, where do you get that stuff? But never mind now. Let, let you go get dressed, I'm saying. We'll be seeing who'll win in the end, me or you. You stay right here, Anna, you hear? She'll not. She'll do what I say. You've had your hold on her long enough. It's my turn now. Your turn? Say, what am I anyway? Tis not what you are. Tis what you're going to be this day. And that's what it's me before night comes. Hurry up now with your dressing. You don't do one thing he say, Anna. She will so. I tell you she won't. I'm her fatter. She will in spite of you. She's taken my orders from this out, not yours. Orders is good. Hurry up now and shake a leg with no time to be wasting. Do you hear what I'm telling you? You stay there, Anna. You can go to hell, both of you. You're just like all the rest of them, you two. God, you'd think I was a piece of furniture. I'll show you. Sit down now. Sit down and let me talk for a minute. You're all wrong, see? Listen to me. I'm going to tell you something, and then I'm going to beat it. I'm going to tell you a funny story, so pay attention. I've been meaning to turn it loose on him every time he'd get my goat with this bull about keeping me safe inland. I wasn't going to tell you, but you forced me into it. What's the diff? It's all wrong anyway. And you might as well get cured that way as any other. Only don't forget what you said a minute ago about it not mattering to you. What other reason I've got as long as I won't be married to no one else? That's my word and I'll stick to it. What a chance. You make me laugh, honest. Want to bet you will? Wait and see. First thing is, I want to tell you two guys something. You was going on if one of you had got to own me. But nobody owns me, see? Except in myself. I'll do what I please, and no man, I don't give a hoot who he is, can tell me what to do. I ain't asking either of you for a living. I can make it myself, one way or another. I'm, on, I'm my own boss, so put that in your pipe and smoke it, you and your orders. I wasn't meaning it that way at all, and well, you know it. You've no call to be raising this rumpus with me. Tis him you have a right. I'm coming to him, but you, you did mean it that way too. You sounded just like the rest. But damn it, shut up, let me talk for a change. Fair rough talk that. 
for a decent girl the like of you. Decent? Who told you I was? Don't go to sleep, old man. Listen here, I'm talking to you now. I don't want for hear it. You was going out of head, I take Anna. Well, living with you is enough to drive anyone off their nut. Your bunk about the farm being so fine. Didn't I write you year after year how rotten it was and what a dirty slave them cousins made of me? What do you care? Nothing. Not even enough to come and see me. That crazy bull about wanting to keep me away from the sea. Don't go down with me. You just want me to be, you just didn't want to be bothered with me. You're like all the rest of them. Anna, it ain't so. But one thing I never wrote you. It was one of them cousins that you think is such nice people. The youngest son, Paul, that started me wrong. It wasn't none of my fault. I hated him worse than hell and he knew it. But he was big and strong, like you. God blast it. Anna! That was why I ran away from the farm. That was what made me get a job as a nurse girl in St. Paul. And you think that was a nice job for a girl too, don't you? With all them nice inland fellers just looking for a chance to marry me, I suppose. Marry me? What a chance. They wasn't looking for marrying. I'm owning up to everything, fair and square. I was caged in, I tell you, just like in jail. Taking care of other people's kids, listening to them bawling all day and night. When I wanted to be out, and I was lonesome. Lonesome as hell. So I gave up finally. What was the use? You don't say nothing, either of you. But I know what you're thinking. You're just like the rest. And who's to blame for it, me or you? If you even acted like a man, if, you, if you'd been a regular father and had me with you, maybe things would be different. Don't talk that way, Anna. I go crazy, I won't listen. You will too listen. You keeping me safe inland. I wasn't no nurse girl the last two years. I lied when I wrote you. I was in a house, that's what. Yes, that kind of house. The kind of sailors like you and Matt goes to import. And your nice inland men too. And all men, God damn them, I hate them, hate them. Anna, Anna, it's a lie, it's a lie. So oh, that's what's in it. I suppose you remember your promise, Matt. No other reason was to count out with you so long as I wasn't married already. So I suppose you want me to get dressed and go ashore, don't you? Yes, you do. God stiffen you. I suppose if I tried to tell you I wasn't that no more, you'd believe me, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. And if I told you that just getting out in this barge and being on the sea had changed me and made me feel different about things, if all I'd been through wasn't me and didn't count, it was just like it never happened, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? And you'd die laughing, sure, if I said that meeting you that funny way that night in the fog and afterwards seeing you was straight good stuck on me. And it got me thinking for the first time and I seized you up as a different kind of man. A sea man is different from all the ones on land as water is from mud. And that was why I got stuck on you too. I wanted to marry you and fool you, but I couldn't. Don't you see how I'd changed? I couldn't marry you with you believing a lie. And I was ashamed to tell you the truth till the both of you forced my hand and I seen you was the same as all the rest. And now give me a ball and out and beat it like I can tell you're going to. Will you believe me if I tell you that loving you has made me clean? It's the straight goods, honest. Like hell. You're like all the rest. The rest, is it? God's curse on you. Clean, is it you slut you? I'll be killing you now. Stop, you crazy fool. You want for murder her? Keep out of this, you. Well, ain't you got the nerve to do it? Go ahead. I'll be thankful to you, honest. I'm sick of the whole game. I, I can't do it. God help me in your two eyes looking at me. Though I do be thinking I'd have a good right to smash her skull like a rotten egg. Was there ever a woman in the world had the rottenness in her that you have? And was there 
ever a man the like of me was made the fool of the world and me thinking thoughts about you and having a great love for you and dreaming dreams of the fine life we'd have when we'd be wedded. Yeah, God help me. I'm destroyed entirely and my heart is broken in bits. I'm asking God himself, was it for this he'd have me roam in the earth since I was a lad only to come to black shame in the end where I'd be given a power of love to a woman is the same as others who meet in any hooker shanty in port with red gowns on them and paint on their grinning mugs who would be sleeping with any man for a dollar or two. Don't, Matt, for God's sake. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. I'll be going, Shirley. And I'll be drinking slews of whiskey will wash that black kiss of yours off my lips. And I'll be getting dead rotten drunk so I'll not remember if twas ever born or was it all. And I'll be shipping away on some boat will take me to the other end of the world where I'll never see your face again. No, you. Don't go. I think maybe it's better Anna marry you now. Leave me go, you old ape. Marry her, is it? I'd see you roasting in hell first. I'm shipping away out of this, I'm telling you. And my curse on you, and the curse of Almighty God, and all the saints. You've destroyed me this day, and may you lie awake in the long nights, tormented with the thoughts of our Matt Burke and the great wrong you've done him. Matt. I think I go ashore, too. Not after him. Let him go. Don't you dare. I go for that drink. So I'm driving you to drink too, eh? I suppose you want to get drunk so you can forget. Like him. Yes, I want. You think I like to hear them things? I think you wasn't that kind of girl, Anna. And I suppose you want me to beat it, don't you? You don't want me here disgracing you, I suppose. No, you stay here. Ain't your fault, Anna. I know that. It's that old devil C do this to me. It's her dirty tricks. It was all right on that barge with just you and me. Then she bring that Irish feller in fog. She make you like him. She make you fight with me all time. If that Irish feller don't never come, you don't never tell me them things and don't never know, and everything's all right. Dirty old devil. Oh, what's the use? Go on ashore and get drunk. You wait here, Anna. Maybe, and maybe not. Maybe I'll get drunk too, maybe I'll... What the hell do you care what I do? Go on and beat it. <laughs>